Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mika from Yes Please Planning. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this really simple tri-fold pocket folder for my pocket rings planner. I thought it would be a good idea to have a little pocket where I can keep a few basic stickers, sticky notes, and some note paper. So let's get started. The first step is to cut off the sides of an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. The approximate measurements that I used are 25.6 centimeters and then 17.5 centimeters. So we've trimmed the excess off of the side and the bottom and the next thing that we're going to do is score the pocket. You want it to be the same size as your uh, same size or slightly larger than your dividers and your paper. So for mine it ended up being 5.3 centimeters. But basically you could just do take your paper dividers and then mark a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to take this measurement, I'm going to come back and score. So I've shown you guys this before. This is a trim and scoreboard so you can um, trim it like that or to score it. To score it you flip this little bar here and then your paper butts up against that and you score it wherever you need to score it. This trim and scoreboard actually comes with the little um, scoring tool to help you get in the groove. I misplaced mine so I just used my bone folder. But what it does is give you a nice clean line to be able to fold. Really easy, really clean. And then I'm going to fold at the, um, basically at the third marks. I'm folding at 8.4 and 17.1. The one thing that I would say if you are interested in getting this trim and scoreboard, if you use centimeters, um, there's a lip here for inches, but um, for centimeters there is no lip, so you can't turn it around and use this to kind of guard and keep your uh, or guide your paper and keep it straight. So that is a challenge. I like, I'd like to use centimeters a lot, so uh, keep that in mind. So I have my scores made with the trim and scoreboard. And I'm just gonna... Now everything looks good the way that I have it folded. It's not too bunched together. If yours is bunched, like it's a little bit too bulky, it's because some of the measurements might be a little bit off. And all you have to do is sort of just, you know, slide that over just a smidge or slide this over just a smidge and kind of um, repress that fold. But we're gonna go ahead and um, punch the holes. I'm punching it here on the left side. This is going to stick into the binder rings and be secured in here. Then this top flap I'm going to punch just right here so that it can come out easily. I'm using a Repesco, so that's basically four layers of cardstock. That's not too bad. I'm just eyeballing where the center is. You can measure if you need to. Now, I know I'm not going to be able to get all three of these panels in there, so I am just going to mark with a pencil to make sure I get it, get the holes in the same place. FYI, 
this pencil and eraser is my absolute favorite it's just a big um, mechanical pencil it's called great erase they come in different colors the erasers are good they don't dry out before you cut in here I want you to take a closer look at how you want it how you want your folder to work so for me I am planning on gluing my folder here on the left here on the right and I'm not gonna glue the middle the reason why I don't want to fold or glue the middle is because I want to be able to put a larger sheet of sticky notes or whatever in here and if I glue here that's going to limit the size or the width of what I can stick in there another thing that I want you to think about is how the holes are I cut about at 0.6 centimeters this little triangle off that's fine for this side but what happens here is that kind of cuts inside the circles that is fine with me because I like my pockets to be kind of wide. If you want to cut around your holes, you can obviously you know, change where you cut. That is totally up to you. At about 0.6 centimeters, that, um, I'm just eyeballing it though, but that's about what I did. So I'm just cutting from the open end to this right on top of the score line. That I think is good enough for me. And I'll do the same here. Just I want out of curiosity, I want to see what it looks like if I cut on the other side of the holes. Oh, I like that better with a really thin, so that's like about two or three millimeters. If I had thought about that, I would have made this smaller so it'd be more uniform at 0.3 and 0.3 centimeters, but no biggie. The next step is to glue the parts down that you want glued. So for me, that will be the two sides. I'm using my favorite paper glue. This is the Prima glue pen. So I'm sure that this little bit is going to end up getting ripped. I'll worry about that when the time comes, but if you're laminating, that would solve that problem. So as I mentioned before, I'm leaving these holes um, uncut, unsnipped, and I am snipping through these. I tend to just do one straight line because it looks cleaner but um, you can also do it where it's like a little V cut here. Here I'll show you this one. You can do it where you cut kind of a triangle and that helps it just kind of go in and out a little bit smoother and faster but again I just I like that the snip the single snip because it just looks like it's not snipped so let's see normally you know I would put some doilies and some different fi fibers and trims but um, that's just not what I want to do with this one. Put, I like this. It's a good day for a good day. Sweet and simple. Just to make it easier to access all of these things. I'm going to go ahead and snip the inside of um, the pockets, the little flaps. So here's a tip 
For washi samples, I like to use just strips of washi that I can use to basically tape down pieces of paper or receipts or notes to, um, to dashboards or to note pages like that. And I find it easier to just be able to have a grab and go kind of sheet rather than something wrapped around a washi card. So all you have to do for something like this, there's you can use acetate, but I, you know, I like to reuse and find different ways to use things. So I grabbed a few of my favorite washies, taped the front and the back of a um, you know a throwaway packaging piece of packaging and just cut off the all four sides and then cut down the middle and that gave me some washi strips that I can just easily peel and go rather than having to unwind um, from a washi card so there is a quick tip I'm gonna add that to my pocket and that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sharing your time with me. Make sure that you come and say hi on Instagram at yesplanning. Bye bye.